welcome back to Trial by Night. I'm gonna spend another one of these, I think. So I can actually get a view of what's going on. Stairs, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to knock these guys out first. What is that? Thou shalt regret having troubled me. Who art thou? Art thou feared to face me man to man? Right, it was Comes not... thou to me. I'm beset. I don't think there's anywhere. I still find the love of whence came the cold. Over there, I think something moved. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I, uh... I don't think I died to the arrow. I think I died to another deadly trap. Okay. I've wasted those two more arrows. Never mind. Well, this one was to get that guy. So look out for the deadly trap here, which is going to be kind of hard to avoid. Let's just try and get out of the way in case we set it off. Okay, so we know this guy goes up and down here. Here are good for something. Doran Hammerites. Yeah, one arrow shot shouldn't have killed me from full else. There must be another trap. Where does this go? Leads out to the garden, apparently, right? According to the map. Reasonably quiet out there. There's noisy metal, alright. So it's the people walking around in there that obviously you've got to be careful of. There's whoever it is just standing up there somewhere whistling away, who I can't see. Oh, there he is. Does he turn? I guess I can go up here slowly on the metal here. Does he have a turn? Or is he just staring watching the whole thing? I mean, I guess I can get across the stairway and underneath his gaze. But I can't get up the next bit. Getting past him is going to be very hard. It's just got noisy floors everywhere here. Little tedious. <laughs> what is that? Who goes? I don't really have enough moss to. Oh, this is not noisy. Okay, so it looks like a noisy, the same as a noisy floor. Well, small blessings. Do I want to put that out? I'm not sure. That's a noisy floor for sure. Seem to be anybody in here though. Uh, so there's a note about the upper armory and the lower one near the smiths. Uh, nice bench, nice brushwork benches, but uh, don't really do anything. Uh, where was that note? So this it wasn't the soggy note. It was this one? 
blah blah blah. The stuck lever in the under corridor. Make the lubrication to the spring steel. Fix the problem of not being able to access the upper armory. Got the lever that I opened. Most is kept near the forge. Yeah, because I got the equipment near the forge. There was, there was a lot more in that armory though. I think that is probably the one uh, that they were talking about. There's no other armory marked, so it must have been there. Let's go slow. Nothing to see now. That door doesn't seem to open from this side. I'm going to spend it on the moss. So I can move more rapidly here. Can I open this? Maybe. Hmm. Okay, I can open this. Slowly. Very slowly. That reminds me there was the lockbox downstairs, which I should try now that I've got the key. But we'll go back down to the basement. We do have to get our friend there, after all. I said, if the foundation is weak, oh, do see. wail and gnash your teeth. Do ask it to repour itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone. I see thee there. Ah! Dang it. That'll do. Feels very cheap, but so does his position. His positioning felt extremely cheap, so. So fuck him. Right, there's somebody guarding the gate there. They're probably looking out one of those window holes. Just going out like, to the gate. It's like, yes, this is not built to be able to be snuck. Sneak around, snuck around, I don't know. Oh, well, it's just a nothing. I guess it's a way up from the garden, or from the front area. Or a way down. Because there's a guy up there who's just watching all the time. This is a refectory. The other thing is, is I do need to remember to keep quick saving because who knows when I'm going to run into another deadly trap that could not be predicted. It would not surprise me if there's more of them. Do my eyes show me her right? Nay. Is the builder's piece now? Who passes there? Nothing to see now, I fear. Uh, is that the? Does he turn it off? God, I don't wanna. Vigilant is the builder's piece now. Okay, he <coughs> can't see me, but I can just see his arm. Does he turn? Oh, ow. My elbow is not happy today. Doesn't seem to turn. All right, let's just try this quickly. What is that? Who goes? Hmm. I would not have thought that rats would dare their teeth against the builder's house. <coughs> what happened to my other noisemaker? Thinkest thou to make mock of me? Show thyself. Turn around, man. It's behind you. The builder shall spy thee if I cannot. Right, distraction tactics are still good, so that's the good news. I guess I could have been using those in other places as well. Right, this is the piece of paper we need, right? The Holy Scripture of Saint Primus. 
May our walls be cut from the thickest stones, our gates be wrought from full iron. Any who pits his strength against their strength shall smash himself with his own effort, even as the fruit falling from a tree dashes itself on a rock below. The builder places thy challenges before thee as a stairway of hewn stone up the tower of thine life. When thou seekest to add to those challenges, to compass thine pride, thou dost clutter the design of the stairway and introduce cracks and weaknesses through which the trickster mayst enter and bring thy ruin. It's actually lines from a piece of dialogue that was uh, in the audio files but not used in the game. Okay, we've got another key. A dark grey key. Oops. And I have seen other fan missions that reuse those lines in uh, actual sermons. You're not hiding anything behind this painting, are you? You could be hiding some kind of safe, but what's the objective here? The golden hammer and this other artifact. Well, we got the holy scripture. So if you were hiding anything behind the painting, you'd need a switch somewhere, which would have to be... It's not on that. It doesn't seem to be behind either of these, if there is one. And there didn't seem to be a switch on the desk. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't think there is a switch. I think there is a secret safe behind the painting. Alright, well there's the bishop's stuff sorted out. Ah, it's around here is the guy, right? Does he turn? He does. He was facing away from me. I wasn't quite sure. I just... Right, let's put out the torch. Who goes there? Who said that? Now, either he does have a very good arrow, or there's another deadly trap here that I didn't see. But he might just be very deadly with his bow. It's possible. Let's, let's test it. Right? Intruder! Who are? Oh, see, he's not that deadly with his bow. He only did four damage. I don't know quite how I died in one hit when I was flash busy uh, flash bombing myself by mistake. He shall not have the chance now. All right, well we can rope down there. Probably the best way in. Well, I could try body surfing, but I'm not. Not very good at that. Is there a trap here? Maybe it's because I ran onto his arrow and I just made it do more damage, you know, if I was running forward. It would do more damage that way, hello. What does that do? I'm not sure. We turn something off or on. Good to know. No lost city bed? Very odd for a hammerite to have that kind of pagan thing here. This does not seem uh, like a holy, a holy bed. Well, I guess we need to get in here. Should I try body surfing? I can never do it properly. Let's try it. Oh, there's two guys there. Who goes there? Speak! What shadow sprang? Ow! Ow! Well, I mean, it did work. Although I'm not sure if I successfully body surfed or just happened to take full damage and not notice it. <sighs> Either way, we're in here. That's fine. Alright, I think pretty much everyone is is unconscious right now, so... We have the outside still to check, and I'll look among the pews in a minute. I'll just see if there isn't anything else hanging around... ...in this chapel. Because it's a little chapel downstairs, right? In the basement. 
Okay, can you hang around in the fuse? No? Okay, because it could have worked. There's a wooden there's a wooden edge to this place, so a rope would have been easy enough to put in there. So go down here. That's the way I came, right? That's the way to the basement. This is the garden. Let's check out the garden. A well. Just a side door. Let's go around to the front. No. So the front is another area, a separate, distinct area. I don't normally like bunny hopping when I play. I mean, I enjoy it, but I, oops. As a strategy. Ah, so this isn't the garden's a bit boring. An easily exploitable strategy, I prefer not to do it. <laughs> Any coins in here? Seems not. Alright, so much for the garden. Um, I think there needs to be nothing around here. Let me just run around. Alright, I haven't been out this front door yet. I can hear somebody here. What is this key that we got? No. Did something make a noise? Hammer and will forge and fire. Chase away the wicked liar. Roof and doorway, block and beam. Chase the trickster from our dream. Wow, what a lockpick. Always people I have to work with are so incompetent, so stupid, so crazy. I don't see why I should be the one to be put with these incompetent people. I'm not sure where he is, but uh, in terms of incompetence, having the front gate lock being picked in front of your face is pretty incompetent. Did I... Yeah, that's the barracks. When am I going to get my dinner? That's what I would like to know. Alright, let's go right back down to the basement then. So that note talked about the upper armory, but it didn't mention anything about the the treasury being behind there. A lot of loot. Uh, we'll have to come back for you. So where was the place that I couldn't open? I think it was down this corridor, right? Yeah, here. Yeah. Where's the lockbox? No, not that one. Uh, that one. Well, I'm expecting there's probably another deadly trap in this room. Because why not? I've got holy water. Two holy water fonts. Chisel, is that the other artifact? Oh, the golden hammer, right. I got the golden hammer. I see. No, it's just holy water. Okay. I picked up the golden hammer, I was just thinking it was ordinary loot, but no, it was actually the objective. Uh, Alright, well then, I guess we're done down here in the basement as well. So we'll bring the guy back up. There's the... Yeah, exactly where it was. But there was the, uh, the way out. Upstairs. I'm not going up those stairs again. So we're not going to go out the front door. We're going to go out the way out upstairs, led over the uh, front gardenish area. Out here, right? Okay, 
I'm going to drop onto a tree, no problem. <gasps> Ah, oh, there's our friend. He's up, up there. How does he get up there? I guess by this ladder. I answered my own question. <laughs> he would be a nuisance. More hammers on guard by that front gate. Okay. What was that? I thought I heard something. And the builder said, if the foundation is weak, you wail and gnash your teeth. You ask it to repair itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin a new. Wow. So oh, shall it be enormous. with all my children, whether they be stone, bread. What is going on over there? Stand forth and declare thy name. Thy shadow shall and not cloak thee forever. I shall spy thee out. Vigilance is our shield. It protects us from our squalid foes. This Vigilance is our shield. Is the door opening or what? Protects us from or is the door hitting me in the face? Knowledge is our weapon, with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. I'm the first time I I don't see why I should be placed here. When everyone else is out running around, when am I going to get my dinner? That's wow. Vigilance is our shield. That protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon, with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Vigilance is our shield. I should not have spent that much time. From our squalid past, knowledge is our weapon, with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Okay. Vigilance is our shield that protects us. I hear thee. thee. Show thyself no to the open. Who and is fight. that? Where art thou, Come out, I it. Job done. I don't think I've explored this water, but so I don't know if there is anything to explore. Alright. We have to run to the hammerite place now. Oh, that's right, because I went into the water by I went swimming under the bridge in, right? And that's how I got in here, instead of coming in the front go front gate, which definitely would have been inconvenient. <clears throat> Alright, so where are we now? We're looking south from in front of the Hammer Chapel. I guess this is the the water here. So if we head north or east, that's kind of away from where we need to be, so... Right, I see. That's, that's gotta be at the edge of the map. Okay. All right. I see the roof goes down, and it's not not 
All right. But it's not quite deep enough to dive properly and get unstuck easily. A little weird, the roof going up and down like that. Which one we're going southeast. Okay, now the current is too strong to swim against. Unless we're diagonal, it, but I don't think I want to. I stay low and I should be able to get out again, I hope. Nope. Cool. Bit of little design that is done badly, so you get stuck. Alright, I'll reload. Rather than drowning. So, no self, don't go in there. And this just comes into the hammer area. I don't think there's anything to be gained by coming here. Except knowledge of whether or not there is loot. And the answer looks like not. Alright. Okay, maybe open this is going east. Probably not. That's this gate here. Probably not, but not definitely not. That's nice. Shutters open with the window behind it, but Alright, let's leave you by the bridge. And scout. I don't know what kind of city street guards are around here. one of them. Sir? Was that you? No! Must have been somebody else then. Ah, this is another one of the sewer entrances. Is this the... Uh... One with machinery, yes, okay. So that's this one marked here. That's the inn, that's the way to the forge. Alright, let's bring our friend a little closer. So I don't have to run back a long way for him. Well, I guess I'm always gonna have to run back the same distance, right? The full distance. Ah, uh, but. We can do it in installments. You guys don't have any moss hanging around here or anything, do you? No. back out through the sewers in any sensible fashion. Uh. Alright, this forge, I don't think I've been to. Oh no, okay, I've been here. I jumped in the water and that's what led me to the secret way, right? Into the other place, so... Haven't got all the all the loot. How am I doing on loot? Twenty two seventy five. Wow, I've got a lot to go. Thirty eight hundred. I got sixteen hundred to go. That was a very bad idea to choose expert because I feel like I've robbed most of the town already. Go back to the bridge in here now, right? I haven't been. Hmm. No, I have been around there. Alright, so there's a bunch of doors out here near where we started, right? That I had that I couldn't lock pick before. So I guess we've got lock picks now. I still can't lock pick that one, okay. 
which does not look like wood. That one does. Alright, we went in there. Can't lockpick it. This one I can lockpick. This is where the hammer was standing guard, so... I guess I needed to lock him out. Lock him out? Knock him out. So he didn't lock me out. So this must be the other one that I, the one that I said was uh, northwest of the death pool, right? Let's check. Yeah. Okay. I remember being on a little a little end like that. So I didn't need to knock him out. So or I could have got to him from behind in this fashion. All right. Sneakily through the sewers. Smelly, smelly leaves through the sewers. This is the clock tower. Now remember, it was what was the soggy note was not about was about the other room, right? No, it's about the entrance. What was the other note I had? Oh, I left it in the kitchen. There was one kind of suggesting that there was. <laughs> well, that could be handy. Nothing. Just, just put machinery in a breath potion. All right. Uh, the one suggesting that there was something up with the shelf of collectibles the guy had. Now I think that was just the vases, and one of them being gold. Don't think it meant anything more, but not a door there. There's some more doors here, right? Well, having the lockpicks does not help. Can I lockpick this gate? The problem with when you rescale gates, the prop distance gets weird and it gets weird for. Uh... Lockpicks too. That's the other point. I do have a bunch of keys that I haven't really. Uh, I don't expect any of them to work on these doors, right? But I don't know the problems with these doors. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, this is the end. That won't make sense. Doesn't make sense for that door to be accessible. <laughs> ah, the window does open. Okay. <laughs> Careful now, Garrett. Sorry, not Garrett. I don't know. I don't remember my name. I don't know what my name is, but I'm the. Thief Guild Apprentice. Uh, let's get some crates from the inn. That'll be easier to stack crates to come up there, I think. I'll move you out of the way for a minute. Mm. There we go. That's the 
front door key. Okay, so I could have grabbed the key if I couldn't get in the window in here. I could have nabbed that. It's a white key. It's not working on that door. Well, this door's not locked. God, that's only half of it. There isn't even anybody here guarding this stuff. It's just like sit here in the dark, locked looking away. There we go. Well, these guys got a fancy bathroom. Not that it protects his loot at all. I mean, I guess you wouldn't expect it to. It's not normally what bathrooms are for. But yeah, it doesn't protect his loot, so he can... Well, actually, maybe I would have been better off if he had kept his loot in more gold and not spent it on fancy bathrooms, right? Oh, we're here! Right, 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 okay. So this is the kitchen, where well, we have this note about dining utensils are all so far back in the cabinet, sick of having to lean into it to reach for a plate, uh, don't dust the shelf with my relics on, probably not that right, I don't know where the, the dining utensils are, right, if he's talking about having to lean into here, but you can't lean into there. I don't know, anyway, maybe he's talking about another room that I haven't been into because we didn't have lockpicks before. But let's find out. Oh ho ho! <clears throat> Why do you say, hmm? Ah. I think I burnt myself on the candle there. Trap. That doesn't feel like a trap. The tears of St. Helios the Tola contained here in a three tiers collected from St. Helios as he wept for the fallen at Cantus Bridge. Okay, so this is valuable, we didn't look at it. This must be the guy that the note was about, because that's his shelf of stuff. Damn, it's a fake. What, the plate? And the whole, you have to lean in a long way, is just really a note about. So, what does this lever do? Oh, I see. Two levers. Aha! So this is the real good stuff. I see. Alright, 3,027. 800 left to get. But this place was quite lucrative. So let me just guess that both of these levers have to be pulled. Oh, I see. That moves the statue out of the way. So you can get at the second lever. I hadn't, I hadn't realised. So we can close it up, and he'll be none the wiser. Well, he'll notice everything's missing, I suppose. Oh, did I hurt myself on the candle or on the knife? That's a good question. I don't know, but either way, it was uh, not.
not really befitting of a master thief. Deep fake, not even worth the paper it's printed on. I should be looking at more of the paintings then. Yeah, okay. Uh huh, definitely. It was 100 each. And this is the front door I couldn't open. Yeah, okay. This guy's got cheap prints. Not oh, fake, he just has it because he likes the picture. It's just not fancy oil painting, Mr. Snob Thief. So these guys have paintings that I should be looking for? Doesn't appear so. Nor this one. Wow, it goes a long way down. Yeah. I can I can kinda get it right down there. Not quite all the way. Alright, um out to the street then. This is where I started, was down this way, right? Let's leave you here. So we've been up the clock tower. I don't think we're going to be able to open this gate. Yeah, chain gate was where we started. I guess that's the clock tower. Ah. The Wayrest Tavern I maybe haven't been to. I don't know about the forge. Board was in the Hammer Chapel, right? But I couldn't get down this area, could I? Right, this is where we started. So, I mean, if we're going to need the guy anywhere, it's going to be need to be have him there. Probably going to need to pick him up to have the objective tick off, right? Alright, I might have to look up a loot list. Um, did I not have a key for this? Yes, okay. Yeah, that's the kitchen. Right, that's the sewer, and that goes to the other area out down, down this way. So we didn't find anything in this area at all. Is a little odd. And what? 600 short. Do the hammerites maybe have. Uh, some loot we didn't find? Or was there somewhere down here that actually did have loot? I mean, there's a whole. In this area, maybe that maybe these guys had some paintings. I should check. I think I would have noticed, but I'm not 100% sure. So, let's see what we got. All right, I didn't have both lockpicks. I didn't, I didn't open this door before. Hello, do you have 600 loot for me? Right, I came in here before when we were under attack, and the guy opened it for me. No, not 600, but 100. We need 251 loot more to finish the mission. An inconvenient number. Oh, there we are. That's 
201. There's nothing in the basement. I don't think there's any more valuables upstairs. Still no other doors, right? This, I got the one that was behind there. I don't think there was anything in the attic. This guy was just like guarding nothing. I don't think any of these are secret secretly doors, they're just like other rooms that you can't access. Okay. And then if we try and do this again. Just looking to see if I missed paintings, basically. No. The locksmith's paintings. No, they're, they're not. They don't even not light up. I mean, that could be hiding a secret. It wasn't these two, after all. Chimney doesn't seem to be hiding anything. Oh, that window also opens. <laughs> Okay, that would have been an easy way in. Been messing with the pipe. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to find any more loot here, so it's going to be annoying. I have to look at what I missed, but I think it's going to have. I think I'm going to have to. So I think it's going to be annoying. Drop down safely. Ish. Good enough. Alright, and Lark's Lane, there's nothing, alright? Unless one of those opens, and how do you know which one, unless you go and somehow check them all. I mean, it's wood along the bottom edge of there, but it's not it's not look accessible. Roping up there would not get me high enough to reach the windows and climb in. So what were these two fellows guarding? Apart from this big pile of crates. Again, that's wood at the bottom, but there's nothing, nothing up there that's going to open, right? Nice little uh, corner tower there, but not any. Doesn't look like there's anything to actually steal. And then we got the simple cream, which got me into the sewers, but sorry, got me into the yard here. But then there was nothing in here to 
to do. So it just like was a roundabout way to nothing at all. Which I thought was very odd, but. So I can get up at these shadows, but there's nothing that opens. They're very weird. All right, well, I'm going to go look up what I missed, because we've, got, we've done all the objectives. It's now a loot goal. It's not going to be fun to just... Uh, me wander madly until I find something. So uh, I will see you back here in a minute. Okay, well, thanks to the magic, not of a loot list, because that takes longer, but the magic of Dromed, I know where to go to find loot I've been missing. I do not know... So I know where all the rest of the loot is, I don't know, actually know how to get it all. Turns out there's a couple of secret rooms I missed, um, and a couple of rings I missed. And they're all in various houses and places I've been already. So we're gonna do a run back around. None of them are down here though. This place is a complete dead end. It's absolutely worthless. Nothing. No nobody down there has owns anything of value. Um so some of them are here and some of them are in the hammer. Right, so start here. This is the inn, right? She was here, she was washing up, and she put her ring on the windowsill. Uh, while she was washing up. And now I think somebody upstairs here also had a ring by the window that we missed. These people. Or did these people have something in the fireplace? I forget. Someone had something in the fireplace. Not these ones. This oh, it's on the chair. Okay. Um, what was the other rooms? Maybe this room was the one with something in the fireplace? No, this guy had a coin underneath there. Right, that's the one. That's the one that was missing to bring the total up to from whatever nine to something more. Okay, I think that's all for the upstairs rooms here. This isn't the in this is the apartment, right? Um, the upstairs rooms at the inn, I think, has something as well. This is the end here. Right, yeah, there was something up here somewhere. Uh, I guess it is that. I saw that and thought it might be a secret door, but then I wrote it off as just being a shadow. But that's a secret door. And it's just that's easily opened. Okay, I don't know how I did not investigate it further. Oh! Spy holes, of course, everybody has spy holes. Everybody's, everybody's a perp. Hello. Is that a secret door there, too? Yes. Don't know how that one opens. Well, there's some more loot. It's a mask. I'm gonna try the old fashioned way of opening this one. <laughs> oh. Uh. This feels dangerous. I've got four water arrows. Let's use them. Feels like something might spawn if I take that. It might, you know, be a stay away from my face, thief, or you'll be sorry kind of situation, right? weird and creepy. Alright. Is this just a door? Yeah. Alright, so much for the weird and creepy. Okay, 3630. So, I don't know if 3800 is actually the total, but it's certainly very close to. Because there's only one place left now that has loot, as far as I'm aware. The place I missed back in the Hammerite area. Um...
Which is which way? The Hammerites are north. This way. Because uh, we are close to the total, but we're still not out the total that we need, right? 3800 has got to be pretty dang close. Alright, so we head back to the Hammerites, we head into their basement, and try and find the secret door that I missed in there. I've seen the secret room, that's, that's the nice thing about, like, using Dromid's sheet just for this stuff to, like, save time in this case. Um, like, the rings obviously it shows you exactly where the loot is, but if it's something in the secret room, it's like, okay, here's a secret room. Um, I know there's a secret room, I know where the secret room is, I know which room it connects to, but I don't know how to get, how to open it. Uh, oh, it's not that way, and I, that's, I'm gonna fall to my death if I keep going that way. I think it's... Where was the, where was the priest bedroom? This one, right? No. This one. No. That's where I came in. That's the deadly trap room of death. That's the dorm. Down here? No. Oh, this one. Right, yeah, okay. So this guy's got a secret room with a bunch of loot. Um which is here. You can't actually see the outline of it now that I look. I wasn't really paying attention. So I've got to find a switch. Oh, there it is, on the back of the... I just saw it for a second. There we go. Okay. Oh! Right, he's got a room full of nudie pictures. There's a little bit of loot here. Oh my god, 37.05. That's not all. And these pictures I can't take. I must have missed something. It's 95 missing. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go look at Dromit again. I'm gonna have to go look at Dromit again. Alright, well, I will be back again in just a minute. Okay, I missed one of the pieces up by the loot. Uh, up by the inn. Up by the loot, whatever, what am I saying? Uh, where's the way out? Is one more piece. There is a little more than 3,800. Um, where's the way out? This is not the way out. This way back to the start. So we're 95 short of our goal, and there is 120 in this one place that I haven't been to, I believe. go back to the inn, have the mission done. I knew it was a bad idea to choose expert with that loot goal, but it's like... It kind of taunted me into doing so. And, you know, I don't want to waste tons of time scouring every corner for things. It's, I don't like to play that way, uh, especially not when I'm recording, because it's just going to take forever. Lots of, just be lots of running around. I do not, I enjoy finding loot, I do not enjoy hunting for loot, let me put it that way. I do not enjoy scouring places. If I have an idea that there is loot in, a, in an area, then looking for it is is all well and good, but if I don't know... Right, in this, in here. Right, in, I didn't check this. 325, there we go. That's it. That's the last piece of loot in the level, I believe. Uh, so I could have probably missed one or two of the things that I cleaned up just now, but it's fine. Uh, we just need to find our way out, which is this side. And we're done. Pick up our friend. Not here. Oh, well. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm lost again. South. This way. Right, go around here. This was the door I wanted. I meant to come out, but I went out the wrong one. Never mind. Uh, so here we go. We pick up our friend and we should win, right? Yes? Here we go. All 
All right, so that was Trial by Night. Uh, we definitely beat the old record, even if, you know, we had to be a bit sneaky, uh, sneakier than we should have to do it. Um, I got to what, 30... 30, was this 3600 or only 3300 by myself? I forget. I got close by myself. Uh, I'm not going to worry about having to uh, cheat slightly to look up the rest just to get the mission finished. Um, and yes, that's all we'll do in the mission. 3825, because there's only a tiny, tiny bit extra. 25 extra. Wow, okay, that's a, that's a really bad loot goal, right? It's like, find all the loot in this mission as an expert objective. It's like... No, you don't, don't do that. That's, that's... That's a bad move. Some people like to find all the loot, but what you're doing there is making it pain for, for those people who prefer to play on the expert, which is the majority of the players that I know of. Not all of them, but the majority of them. Uh, but who don't want to spend hours scouring the map or looking up hints for loot, right? But anyway, that was Trial by Night. As far as our first mission goes, it's, you know, it's a very good first mission. Played plenty, plenty worse than that. Um, the main, the, really, the only black mark on it is the couple of uh, insta-death traps. The three insta-death traps from Hammerhead Place. There's no re real reason for any of them to be there. They just steal the one to put traps in. It's like, they don't even fit sensibly, right? Just have the Hammerites have insta-death traps in their basement that they have to be careful not to kill themselves walking out of their barracks. It's a little ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that and the loot goal, the ridiculous loot goal, is kind of the um, um, big negatives there. Everything else is like, yeah, it's a slightly rough first mission, but uh, I like the concept, the the whole you, this trial, but I don't think that concept was carried out very well, because um, it was just like, okay, just go and get all this stuff. Whereas, I think if you're going to do a concept that's like, this is a test of your skill, it should be more explicitly, like, focused around the places where you have to test your skill and not just, uh, go everywhere in the map and steal everything and lots of guards everywhere that are going to be difficult to sneak around. But, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and, uh, I'll see you here sometime soon for the next mission.